Michelle Lesmeister. I'm a basic studies teacher at Renton Technical College and I'd like to talk to you today about a few things we did to spread reading apprenticeship across our campus. One of the first things we did was to find a core group of teachers who would take a training and then come back with ideas and figure out how they were going to assist other faculty in learning about RA, enroll in the online class, and get RA talked about on our campus. So, we made some really um, fun shirts with the logo RATS, Reading Apprenticeship Teachers and Supporters, because not everybody who likes reading apprenticeship is a teacher. We have administrators, we have staff, we have counselors and librarians, and these people come in contact with students too, so we thought it was so important to help um, include them in our logo so that's why we're called the rats then the other thing we did was we made a lot of free giveaway things we ordered M&Ms that had the word read and rats on one of one side each and then we had um, some book bags made some pencils made we had mouse pads made for computers that had the logo and the website for our rats uh, collection of readings and other things. Now, we started with a newsletter which was done once a month by this group of, of faculty that we call the Rat Pack. And the first couple years we called it the Rat Review, where we did a lot of sales type of activities. What is RA? How can you learn more about RA? What books are great for learning about RA? What is the PAC doing? And what classes and seminars are we offering about reading apprenticeship? The, then last year we decided that we needed to dig a little deeper since most of our campus knew about reading apprenticeship. We wanted to really focus on the classroom. And that is when we came up with a new idea called the Rat Tracks, Routines and Tip Sheets for Using RA in Your Classroom. And these um, double-sided uh, print published um, sheets give a lot of information about specific routines, think alouds, talking to the text, how to build schema, how to use a personal reading history in the beginning of a quarter, what is a reader's strategies list and why are they valuable tools in the classroom? These are the things that have formed the backbone of reading apprenticeship on our campus and helped teachers get something in their hands that was easy to read once a month and gave them continual support in their journey of learning about reading apprenticeship. We housed this on our website as well as in our library guides, our lib guides that are on our library site for reading apprenticeship. And teachers are just happy to have something easy to continue their education in RA.